Hey guys, it's Unsecure Steve. Today in our lock picking series, what we have is our Lock Pickers United Orange Belt Challenge. So, in order to obtain your orange belt, all you need to do is just pick a lock that's on the orange belt list. I chose this 44mm Brinks weatherproof paddle lock because it was readily available and because I like to pick on Brinks a little bit. According to the package, this lock is high security. Even though the packaging's kind of messed up. I, I don't know if they're trying to hide it. That was on purpose or, you know, just a printing accident. But if I was them, I would have made sure it was on purpose. This lock does sport a boron hardened steel shackle. That's cut resistant up to 9,700 pounds. And it does have superior corrosion resistance. So it can be used out in the elements. Has a four pin brass core with the M1 keyway and it's covered up by this cute little dust cover. If you guys are anything like me, I'd rather fidget with this than use it for any type of security <laughs> or to even lock up anything with. You just get there and flick it. Sorry guys, I'm gonna go ahead and insert the key. Make sure the lock works good. And I'll be using advice today. I like to use my vice because getting camera angles when you're left-handed is very hard without having your hands in the way if you're trying to hold the thing and pick it at the same time. So let's just adjust that so you guys can see all right. I'll be using a Cover Instruments Ergo Turner in 40 thousandths. This is made for a right-handed person, but if you're a southpaw like I am and you like to pick in a vice, this is perfect. Be using top of the QA tension, uh, moderate tension because with every Brinks lock, I've noticed that moderate to heavy tension works the best for me. And I'll be using a standard hook in 20 thousands, 25 thousands, excuse me. So let's go ahead and start right on pin one. Nothing on one, nothing on two. Click on three. Click on four, good click on four. So I'm gonna start back in the beginning. Nothing on one. Click on two and we have an open. So just like that. As far as security goes, um, there was a little counter rotation on number two. So I do expect there to be a spool in there. Um, I can't really take it apart. This is a non-guttable lock, so we'll never truly know. It's a fun little pick. You know, if you're in the beginner or intermediate levels, this is this is fun to play with, that's for sure. But all right, guys, that's all the time I have for today. If you guys have any questions or feedback, make sure to drop it in the comments. And always remember, if you can't be good, be good at it. And I'll see you next time.